Hello friends and future friends, it's Shrewboy313 and welcome back to 35mm. In the last episode we, well, this rain feels very, well not feels very loud, sounds very loud, but... Yeah, in the last episode we picked up this train thing, I guess? And we are, ooh there's a digger over there, we're headed over to a town for some reason because of an apocalypse and yeah as of me recording this because I normally I tend to like when I record a game I usually like play it for an hour and because I like making like 20 minute episodes I usually get three episodes at a time out of it or three parts at a time out of it so like I usually record things every few days depending on what it is I mean, sometimes I will occasionally just get, like, the urge to play the game for hours. Uh, do we need to... Okay, I was going to say, do we need to switch these? Alright, I guess we're going down there instead of through the forest. Goodbye, Mr. Headless Scarecrow. Yeah, I tend to record them in, like, bunches. Unless I get, like, the urge to just record a load at once, like I did with the most recent Resident Evil batch I did. But, oh, that's a tree. Are we gonna hit, aren't we gonna hit this? Go. Oh, wait, is this gonna break it? No. Alright, let's go the other way, I guess. It's, you're not just you're not gonna question that. You're just gonna leave that there. Oh, it looks like there's just like a full on It looks like there was a full on branch on that path. You know what let's let's switch them back and actually see what's down this path as well. Yeah, but as I was saying, as of recording this episode or this part, sorry, the first part went live like the day before. Oh my gosh, and um, I think as of recording it, it's been 24 hours and, oh gosh, mm. yeah it's been like 24 hours and views wise, probably just because it was the first part, it did like fairly well compared to the video other videos I put up, but I'm thinking maybe because it's like a new indie game. And that is something I was thinking about for quite a lot for my channel. I think other than the Pokemon that I put on this channel, because obviously I love Pokemon. <laughs> I think, yeah, other than the Pokemon, I quite like to play more new, like, let's play more new indie games as they come out. Sort of like I did with Warden. The branch has disappeared, sure. <laughs> oh no, it's still there. Let's go at it at full pelt then, shall we? Come on. Oh, there we go. We just needed to go through at it at full pelt. Yeah, I wanted to play, like, more new, newer indie games as they were coming out, like Warden Melody of the Undergrowth, which happened on this channel, like, the full walkthrough Let's Play, and, like, how I'm planning to do a full Let's Play of this. And I'm just thinking that's what I'd sort of like my channel to be, like, with there being more... Let's play focus on like new indie games like this and Warden. Like Warden Melody of the Undergrowth. Just because I think with indie games, you can get like. Rude. Was I not going full speed at those? Right. I think, like I said, with indie games, you, there's the potential to get like some really interesting things out of it. Like, obviously, like Warden, which. I won't lie, it wasn't the best game, but I've played I've definitely played worse games in my time. <laughs> there we go. Alright. But yeah, I've played better as games as well. Hmm. So yeah, that's sort of what I wanted to say on that subject, but at the same time, I also do just want to play games. Oh, what does that say? Okay. When you lose everything, any little thing reminds us. Okay, this seems very sad and depressing, so let's get out of here. 
Oh no, are we gonna have to... Are we gonna have to crash into this to get it moving, aren't we? Can I? Go on. Uh, come on, go forwards. What was I saying? Right, push that down there. Yeah, I would quite like to play as well games that I enjoy that are maybe a little bit older, as well as new indie games, but the thing is, obviously, it is a goal that I'd like people to watch my channel, so I feel like the newer indie games route is the way to go for that. Which I think can could be a hello face, which could actually be a good thing. Have you You've got what? Oh, okay. Yeah, I feel like that could be a good route for my channel. What was that noise? Just because if I'm playing games that I've not not like played before, we're getting like a new experience and like a more genuine reaction. Whereas like with games I've already played before, like currently going up right now like Resident Evil 4, I've played that before, so some of the reactions to events may not be as genuine as whether it as if I hadn't played it before, like this, obviously. I'm pretty sure like it was on my wish list for a good a good like two, three weeks before it was released. So I I have sort of been looking forward to this. Right. How does it fit? Where, where did did he always have this radio? I genuinely cannot remember. I don't know. Right, but yeah, that's the real talk segment on my channel. Perhaps I'm gonna start playing like, like start let's playing more new indie games as they're coming out, or newer indie games as they're coming out. But then I suppose there are some bigger games that are going to be thrown in there as well. And it's also like, I normally have a 12pm slot, or 12pm slot for me, which I upload on just whenever and wherever. Wait, sorry I just went silent, I thought was he playing, like, making my way downtown or homebound, that da -da 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 -da, making my way downtown. I'm just wonder sort of wondering what to do with that, because that's what I usually put like, Things that don't go in a specific like story series with no foreseeable end date, like Minecraft mini games. Because like just in in my folders at the minute, I've got like a few Sky Wars videos left, and like a good 10, 11 videos of another like 10, 11 videos of a different mini game that I've just like not bothered creating the thumbnails for. <laughs> Oh, when did we get so much food? I do not remember getting that much food, I'm not gonna lie. We need to find something to pick off a chain. I mean... I have this. And I have this. Can I... I just need a tire iron, okay. Right, where would one go about finding a tire iron? Oh, why is my face all blurry? Um, could there be a tire iron in here? Is this like a shed or something? No, it's not a shed. I'm wondering also, why is it a little bit blurry around the edges? Hmm, how strange. What are you? You are a barrel. Uh, oh, what's this? Can this be opened? It can. Um, oh, there's the tire iron. Thank you. Oh, and there's a note here as well. What does this say? Yesterday we brought with the men from the big from hunting a big wolf. Apparently, it was the same wolf who has been stealing sheep the last few months. It was a really strong beast. Even three bullets from the rifle couldn't finish it at once. We are not in a hurry to cheer. There are still plenty of wild animals in the area. Feels like they have the wind of our slack. They are trying to supplant us quietly. What does that even mean? Supplant us. Right. Now, how do I get the tire iron out? Is it, is it number four? I feel like it's number four. Five, six, seven. No, let's put the hatchet away. <laughs> right, how do I use the tire iron? Ah. Oh. 
It's okay, the dude, the chain just falls off. And oh, can I like maybe turn motion blur off? It is off. All right. I guess it's just like this in this area of the graphics, maybe. Yeah, that's a wall that's clearly painted on. You know what this reminds me of? Resident Evil 5. Like, when you... It's like Chapter 2, I believe it is, when you're in that train yard. And those dogs run at you from, like, in between train carriages. I'm very wary that something's going to run at us. Because, I mean, we've already had a bear chase us <laughs> so far. Um... Hey, I, hey, dude, is your screen blurry as well? Like, ooh, a chicken! Let's not chase that. Ooh, but there's a thing open. Um, anything in here? In the thing? Ooh, batteries, nice. What does that put us at? Four batteries, cool. Hey. <laughs> Scenic as hell. <laughs> I'm not really sure what taking photos does. Maybe it'll like. Maybe it gives you a slideshow at the end of the game. Ah, oh, I would have chased the chicken. Come back, chicken! Come back! Come back! No, oh, apparently that chicken doesn't exist. So, dude, where were you when you discovered that chickens didn't exist just like I have done now? Oh no, I don't think I can record this one. If it's gonna, like, stay as blurry as this. If I turn motion blur on, is that gonna make it better? Not really. Ooh. Yeah, I'll just turn motion blur back off. Ooh, there we go. That at least looks better when I'm twiddling it around. Who are these people? We're just going to walk up to them. I can hear a goat. I should probably put the axe away, shouldn't I? We shouldn't... <laughs> Stra you just don't walk up to strangers holding an axe. Hello? Don't know. Why would you do that? Oh no! I am not. Oh, I just got punched in the face. D. Oh, I need to mash this. Oh gosh, wait, what? Why Why did we start this fight? Why? Is the, why? I don't understand. Why did we get in this fight? <laughs> why, did it, why did I just get in that fight? What was the reason for it? Um... Oh, they were hassling a father and a son, okay. Okay. I suggest an overnight stop and... Ooh, tea and jam. How very British. Perfect for me. That's a lie, I don't. Mmm. That's how we live here, it's hard, but there is nothing to choose. We all went back on the past. Okay. I saw a power plant near here. Did you try to run the system? Someone's probably taken it over. Ah, uh, no one understands how to do it in the village. Okay, but I don't understand why it's pulsating at the side of the screen. Do I need... Have I not been eating? Is there some way I can eat? Seriously, why is it so blurry at the side of the screens? It's like pulsate... Screen? Screen. It's pull to eat. Dude, how, do, how does one eat? Um... I feel like I should be doing something with these, because look at this, look at that man's arms on the left. It's pulsating, why? Hello? Yes, let's jigsaw this up. Uh, where are the corner pieces? Is this a corner piece? I can't tell. 
There. How do I rotate them? Oh, gosh. Um, that looks like it could... Hey, kid, how do you rotate this? <laughs> or is it all just in the place it's meant to be? That looks like it goes there. That goes there. Um, not gonna lie, I didn't think I'd be doing a jigsaw puzzle today. What's that? Is that a corner piece? No, that looks like it goes up this side somewhere. Doesn't fit there. Why am I doing this? <laughs> Why am I doing this kid's jigsaw? Um, that sticks there. That looks like it might fit in there. Kid, what is this creature? <laughs> it looks terrifying. That doesn't go there. Uh, where does this... I don't know. Um, what's this? Is that there? Nope. Nope. Um, oh, there's the bit with its face on. Again, why am I doing this jigsaw? I don't know. Right, um, that, well, I mean, it fits there, but it's clearly not there. Um, nope. Oh, that looks like it could go, like, there-ish. I don't know. Oh, wait, no. Oh, wait, no. Um... Hey kid, do you know how to stop this pulsating? Because it's very strange. Um, does this bit maybe go here? Uh, where's the other bit of the dog's eye? That's what I'm wondering. Is that the dog's eye? Oh, I'm very confused. I ca kid, I can't figure out your jigsaw. I'm an idiot, apparently. Oh no, that goes there. And that goes there. There we go. <laughs> We're making headway. Um, that... Oh, that goes there. Is there any cat head? Oh, that pops on there. That... Oh, that goes there, doesn't it? No, it does not. I don't think. Uh, that looks like a little piece of body. Oh, that sits there. Right. Uh, where does this go? <laughs> Here? I can't tell whether that's right. Kid, why is your jigsaw so strange? Right, that doesn't go there. That must go there, then. Um, this, none of this looks right. I'm very confused. Um, oh, that's a tree on that side. Okay. Got it. Got it, I think. We get in there, kid. We get in there. Um, no, maybe not. I think I screwed up something in this jigsaw. <gasps> oh, that must be that piece. Kid, there's something wrong with your jigsaw. Either I've screwed it up or there's a piece missing. I feel like I've probably screwed it up. Yeah, I must have screwed up somewhere. Uh, is that right? Nope. Is that this right? Oh, that's right. Yeah, okay. Uh, that'll go there. Does that mean that has to go there? Oh, I've done it. Oh, I've done his jigsaw. Ta-da. I did it for you. You're welcome. <laughs> Wait, did I not need to do the entire thing for him? Oopsie. Let's just ignore the fact that I did that. Let's just take a little a little nap and forget that we accidentally just spent like half the episode doing a jigsaw puzzle. Oh uh, dear, and I think that's where I'm going to leave this episode. So I will see you guys for the next episode of 35mm.